Hi all, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss a strategy design pattern. I have already covered like complete videos on like creational design pattern and structural design pattern. If you miss those videos, I'll put the link in description. So please go and watch. And also please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so that uh, I'll make more videos and more useful videos. Now, now let's talk about like strategy design pattern. So what exactly strategy design pattern? So before going to discuss about strategy design pattern, let's think about like how uh, how Dhoni uh, became a captain full leg. So why uh, why we call basically best captain, which means like uh, uh, he used to uh, treat, he used to basically uh, train the bowlers uh, in such a way that to get the wickets early. Dhoni every time succeeds in, in at least in that perspective. Like let's say like during uh, 2007 World Cup, right? It, like India is almost in a lose state. Like, but Dhoni because of his various strategies inside his mind, he continuously taken the wickets and completely leads our India to victory. Like, this means he basically uh, uh, he make he basically motivates the bowler to make a uh, different kind of bow bowlings, different kind of bowling strategies so that we can get the quick wickets. Like, which means like these all things we basically call as strategies. Like. So uh, how exactly Dhoni thinks and we won the game. So in the in the programming world also. So depending upon the user configuration, we uh, we basically uh, uh, we basically in the runtime itself we identify the one particular strategy and execute that particular strategy. Here strategy in the sense means like any class. Like I'll discuss more when we go into the examples. So let's talk about like examples. So. Let's see, like, let, let's see, like, uh, so you're a data company, let's say you're working in a data company, which means like, uh, basically data company is basically software as a company, right? Which means like, you're providing your software to different, different uh, companies, like, so for example, let's say, um, let's say a company, a company name A, when it comes to you, and uh, for you're providing a data analytics service, like, uh, or you're basically customizing complete data. So they basically gives you the data, like, to customize them. And company B will give you the data, company C will give you the data. There are like multiple companies will give you the data to customize them. But um, but do you really expect like every company will give the same amount, same uh, same format of data? No. Like some companies may have different format of data. Let's say we call it as XML. Some companies may have plain text as data. Some companies may have JSON. Some companies may have HTML. Like so, you as a you as a data as a service company, it's your responsibility. Uh, depending on the customer configuration you identify let's see, let's let's we think about customer configuration as a strategy depending upon um, depending upon the various strategies you have whenever customer uh, data comes to you you need to identify okay which strategy should I should I execute from the list of strategies which, which I have like so okay uh, this customer data is matching the JSON uh, so let's send it to the JSON strategy and JSON will take care of converting this particular particular data into the streamline so likewise, depending upon the uh, user, depending upon the user's data or company's data, you will change the strategy at the, at the runtime and you will basically run the, you will basically execute that particular strategy. So this is exactly in a simple terms what exactly strategy design pattern means. Let's see some more examples so that you will get even more better idea. Like, so if you're seeing these ones, let's say, let's say you are in, uh, you are working in any e-commerce application. In, in any e-commerce, one thing is common is like basically providing offers. So uh, in, a, in, a, in a global e-commerce uh, website, right? So it can be, the company can be announced like 50% off. Uh, there is a new year off, like there is, a, there is like Christmas bonanza, there is an like Eve offer, which means a company basically uh, providing different kind of offers, different kind of uh, uh, offer slabs. It might not be common for each, each person. Like uh, if for each person, it might be different, right? It might be customer's geographical location, or it might be customer's occasion, like where he's staying, or it might be customer's frequency of uh, booking the uh, booking the, booking things in the particular website. So depending upon all these things, so the particular e-commerce app application might uh, understand the customer configuration, and uh, and he sits and uh, and it provides a different strategies to them. Like okay, this customer is uh, we identify this customer into this category. So why can't we offer a fifty percent off? So we understand this customer is comes to this category. Why can't we offer like new year offer, new, like customers offer like? So depending upon the different different configurations, we are providing like and 
during the runtime itself we are identifying we are identifying and uh, executing the particular strategy uh, let's understand even more example like to get even more better idea like let's say uh, you have you are like basically uh, ml and ai company so you have like multiple models are there with you so all models are trained successfully and it's time and deployed now it's time to test so do you really think you will only test with only single model no there are multiple models are there let's say the one model is based on neural network let's say one model is based on machine learning let's say there is one model is based on gaussian distribution algorithm so uh, so, so let's say some people are uh, you identify as a uh, so okay why can't depending on geographical location why can't all the india people go into that uh, ml ml model why can't all us people go into the nn nn model like so depending upon the configuration of user state you define a strategy and you are executing the strat strategy like so which means everything happening at a run time so so this exactly what strategy design pattern means like now let's see some more example so that you will get even more better idea what exactly strategy pattern like so let's see what is the main intent of strategy pattern so define a family of algorithms encapsulate each one and make them interchangeable uh, during a run time like strategy let the algorithm vary independently of clients so client not aware like which algorithm uh, we are using like uh, and behind what is executing like so depending on the customer configuration uh, we are basically identifying the strategy and executing the particular strategy now let's see uh, there is an example which first i discussed right json uh, like different kind of data processing like now to get even more intuitive let's say this is the client so client has some set of configuration and uh, you have like a processor so whatever you are, whatever things are there you need to convert into the, your your own processor so that uh, you can uh, further send that particular data into the data scientist uh, projects like so your job is like analytically processing the data which means like you are basically converting all the data into the single data where uh, where that particular language will you understand by across your across your company microservices like your company projects so client has a, a client has a one kind of configurations so which means like indirectly we can we can if you if you think client as a class so if uh, or else client as a context we can make client has a strategy like so client has a configuration so depending upon the configuration we will define a different strategy so let's say initially uh, client has like uh, uh, some configuration which suits to json data like metadata suit, suiting to json data so simply we are executing the json strategy and it will go to the json processor like json converter will it will convert from json to uh, your, your company your company's processor like similarly if if client uh, strategy if client configuration matches to the xml strategy it will convert to from xml and from xml to processor likewise this thing will work right so this is exactly how um, class diagram will basically look like like so context has basically context interface like basically strategy so each strategy is basically called as each algorithm so if you think strategy is an interface so each strategy has so strategy implemented by different uh, concrete strategies right uh, let's say json let's say html let's say uh, plain text let's say some other xml processor all these things so these are all like independent algorithms so depending upon the context we are changing the strategy at runtime so there are examples like one we are using we will use for machine learning and during festival season and another way is like basically data data pre processing stage let's see a simple example let's see we have a data this data we can identify based on metadata uh, variable so this metadata is basically plain text or html or json so and uh, we have like a strategy called processor strategy which will process the data so this strategy has like multiple concrete strategies a html processor which has like converts the data into html and will return the true json processor it will return the true after converting the json process and a plain text processor it will process the data from plain text to processor and it will return the true in your main program depending upon the so let's say this is the user so you identify okay let let's think about let, let, let's get the uh, user's metadata let's get the company's metadata what data they are sending so now company is sending the data which here it's in this case html okay after seeing this one i was thinking okay this customer is belong this customer is a html data so we parse it to the html process so that it will, it will convert the html processor to our processor like 
so we are basically creating a class of uh, creating object of html processor and we are basically processing the data like similarly if it is json it will go to the json if it is plain text it will go to the plain text so during the runtime itself we are basically identifying which processor needs to be taken care like it should go so ultimately output is basically this is html data processed uh, and we are and it's returning back to true like this is very simple example how strategy design pattern basically works like so same thing you can apply to multiple examples also uh, for uh, uh, customers celebrate like for uh, offering uh, discounts to different different customers across different different global regions and for ex executing different different algorithms at runtime depending upon the customer depending upon the customer where it presented or you want to test like uh, 20 percent should go to here 30 percent should go to here 40 percent should go to this this model so everything happening through at runtime like so this exactly what strategy design pattern like i think that's it for today's tutorial i hope you like the video you got what exactly strategy design pattern if you got the video so please like and subscribe and share to your friends so that i'll make uh, they will also learn and also i'll also make more videos more useful videos so we'll soon meet with the template design pattern so for now bye bye